Hi, welcome to ShareLearn Adventure. Today we're installing wood duck boxes here on the shores of Squam Lake in this nice wetland area. Wood ducks are some of the most recognizable and unique ducks uh, that we see and they're very widespread around the U.S. They occur pretty much anywhere that has a nice wetland and woodland habitat complex. That said, in the early 1900s, wood ducks were almost entirely wiped out from the U.S due to overhunting and destruction of habitat. However, with the passage of the International Migratory Bird Treaty, wood ducks started to return to their former habitat. And when in the 1930s, nesting boxes started becoming common, the numbers started to expand even more. Nowadays, almost anybody can see a wood duck if they go out and look for them. One of the things that makes wood ducks unique, and indeed gives them their name wood duck, is that they prefer to nest in tree cavities rather than on the ground near the water like many other duck species. So what a wood duck hen is looking for in a tree is a cavity. She would prefer it 20 to 50 feet off the ground. Obviously we can't get that high so we're just going to go as high as we can. Um, and it needs to have a little bit of depth to it and enough space in there for her to be able to make a little nest out of down from her breast and we're going to actually supplement, supplement that with wood shavings to add a little cushion in here and there she will lay about 10 to 15 eggs which will take about a month to hatch and then as soon as those eggs start hatching they'll all hatch within a 24 hour period the mother duck will start talking a lot just just quacking back and forth with the babies and they're all talking to each other and that's super vital um, for the next step because the morning after the first egg hatches the mom is going to climb up leave the nest and she will not come back to those babies in the nest and she's just going to be out here calling to them and that's all they have they're just linked to their mother and to each other by their voices and so they hear their mom calling out there and one by one they'll climb up we have some mesh on the inside here so that they can climb they have really sharp little claws that are adapted to climbing so they'll climb up perch on the edge of the hole and then just jump out of the nest just a leap of faith, fall to the ground, which doesn't hurt them because they're tiny and super light, and go find their mother, and she will lead them to brood habitat, which we have some really, really excellent brood habitat here in this wetland area. That provides a lot of cover and is going to be really rich in invertebrates and insects for those baby ducks to eat. One of the fascinating things about wood ducks is that their diet changes at multiple stages throughout their life. The mother is going to be leading her, her babies in this nice close secure area and they're going to be eating uh, macroinvertebrates but after about six weeks they'll transition to more vegetative food they'll be eating algae um, aquatic plants and things like that and then once they become adults they'll transition their diet again and start feeding largely on acorns other nuts and seeds and more invertebrates again so let's dive into what you're looking for when you went when you go to hang a wood duck box and how that process goes. So in preparation for the hen to start nesting, we're going to fill our box up with about three or four inches of wood shavings just to provide a nice soft basis for those eggs and those chicks. There we go. And then actually, if you come over, You can see here we have the mesh on the inside that those babies will climb up before they jump out of the hole. We're just going to put the lid on and get the hang in this thing. Okay, so you want to get it up as high as you can. And also, whenever you drill into a live tree, you don't want to set the screw all the way in there. You want to leave it out a little bit to allow for the tree to grow and push the box outwards a little bit. The crucial part of putting up a wood duck nesting box is remembering to add a predator guard. We're using this slippery piece of metal. Raccoons will happily chow down on some wood duck eggs and maybe even mom if they can catch her in there and they'll climb up and try to get at them. So put this on, the little claws will have a hard time grabbing onto that. So we've deployed a couple of wood duck boxes today, but we've taken special care to make sure that they aren't very close to each other and they're not visible 
um, from one to the other. That's because wood ducks are very secretive birds, and not just towards humans and animals that could be predators, but also towards other wood ducks. A mother wood duck wants to make sure that her hot commodity, this real estate that she's discovered, this nice living spot, isn't found by another female wood duck. Because wood ducks do something called egg dumping. If another female wood duck who hasn't been able to find a nice home for herself finds somewhere where a, a, a female wood duck that has the place is nesting, she'll lay her eggs there and try to make the other female take care of her babies. So a female wood duck can lay 10 to 15 eggs, but if she comes home to a nest that has 30 eggs in it, there's a great chance that she's just going to abandon that nest. So if you're putting up a bunch of wood duck boxes all close to each other, that can actually be more harmful than helpful. Thanks for tagging along in this episode of Share, Learn, Adventure as we create a habitat for the waterfowl here on Squam Lake. If you have a wood duck nest box, or if you've seen wood ducks, let us know. Drop a comment below, and also check out some of the links that talk about wood duck life cycles, how to make your own nest box, and a super adorable video of babies jumping 50 feet from their nest cavity to the ground and landing in the leaves without any harm. Until next time, this has been Cheryl Learn Adventure. Bye now.